Today I'm reviewing the Alpha from Cortec. I like playing with this paddle. There's a few caveats to it. We'll get into that later. Let's get into the specs first. So this paddle has a 16 millimeter foam injected polypropylene core with composite injected edge. Each individual cell of the honeycomb core is filled with foam. It's pretty cool. Dimensions are 16.5 by 7.44 inches. It's got a six inch handle. It weighs 8.3 ounces, give or take 0.2 ounces. It's got a swing weight of 125, a twist weight of 6.2. Average spin on it has been measured at 2100 RPM. The paddle face is raw 3K carbon fiber and the grip circumference is 4.25 inches. And this is one of the few Gen 3 paddles that is still USAPA approved. All right, so to begin with, the power and pop of this paddle, the power is there. This paddle generates a lot of power. And I found that the paddle, when you just let the paddle do the work, the power is there. If you try and muscle through this paddle, you're not gonna generate as much power. The core does a great job of generating that power. Interestingly also, because of this 3K carbon fiber, which is a little, which gives a little bit more than the T700 carbon fiber, it doesn't have the poppiness because the face isn't as stiff as a lot of these other Gen 3 paddles that I've seen and played with. So that gives you a lot more control up at the kitchen than you would expect from a paddle with this much power. As far as spin and control are concerned, I was able to generate quite a bit of spin. I don't measure uh, spin or anything like that, but it has been measured by the manufacturer and they were able to generate 2100 RPM, which puts this on the high end of spin. Additionally, I felt in control at the kitchen. I didn't feel like my dinks were going high or my resets were flying out. I will say that if you, if you do use a punch volley with this, even though there's not a lot of pop off the face, because of the power that's generated with this, you're gonna get some really good acceleration on your punch volleys. And I think that's more due to the core than the face of the paddle. Generally, the poppiness I found comes from a stiff face and not so much from how the core um, is producing power. Now on to the weight and speed. My paddle weighed in on my scale at 8.4 ounces, which makes this one tenth of an ounce heavier than the Vatic Pro that I play with, which is at eight and a half ounces. What's interesting is that the weight of this paddle is all in the head. This is a head heavy paddle I think some of the power comes from that as well as the core. And so that actually makes this paddle feel heavier than my Vatic because with my Vatic Pro, I put two overgrips on the handle. And so that helps pull the weight down. I think if you aren't a fan of head heavy paddles, you might want to think of putting some lead tape on the end or maybe even in the handle on the handle and put an over wrap on it if you want if you want to pull that weight down if you're if you like head heavy paddles then this is this is great for you now to me a head heavy paddle kind of slows down my hands at the kitchen line when you're in those firefights you really have to have this paddle in the right place at the right time otherwise for me i wasn't able to get the paddle where i wanted it to be in those firefights. The grip and appearance are pretty nice. You've got the logo on the face of the paddle and then the, the carbon fiber weave, so to speak, on also on the face of the paddle kind of has this alternating color. So it's not just a single color of carbon fiber, which also kind of gives it a nice little appearance. The grip is very nice. I like how it feels in my hand. Personally, I prefer a, a larger grip, a larger circumference grip. So I'll probably add at least one over wrap, if not two over wraps on this grip. But other than that, I'm not feeling any sharp edges. So the grip that they put on there is thick enough and high quality. It's cushioned and 
So pretty happy with the grip and the appearance of the paddle. So this feels like a really durable paddle. It's one that'll last you a while. You can see that I've done some playing with this and it's marked up, uh, nor you know, normal markups from a ball and things like that. I haven't run a paddle eraser over this or anything like that. And it just, it, it feels solid in my hand. There's been some bumps on the ground with it. There's been some bumps with other paddles with it. No fear that this is going to get damaged in any kind of way. They do have a 90 day warranty. So that's a pretty standard warranty in the industry uh, for this category of paddle. As far as the price of this paddle goes with the code Gen X Dinks, you'll get this for $125, which is a pretty good value for a Gen 3 paddle. I don't think there's a single Gen 3 paddle out there that's been approved or hasn't been delisted <laughs> by USAP that is that low. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave that in the comments below. You also, what's very interesting, they have the option of local pickup when you check out. So if you're uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you can actually go and pick this up yourself. So that's a cool option that'll save you some shipping or some wait time, you know, waiting, waiting for it to come to come to you. So I think it's a pretty good value as far as Gen 3 paddles are concerned. And if you're going to order one, like I said, make sure you use that code Gen X Dinks and you'll get $10 off bringing this paddle down to $125. So who is this paddle for? Well, this is for the intermediate to advanced player that can handle the power that's generated by this paddle. A beginner is just going to hit a ton of out balls with this paddle. Also, if you're interested in a Gen 3 paddle, this one is still USAP approved, and so this would be a choice for you. It's a great value when it comes to these Gen 3 paddles. In addition to that, if you're just interested in a paddle that, that kind of has a different feel, I, I can't explain it, but this paddle performs a little bit differently than a lot of the other, well, certainly than the Gen 2 paddles do. It's just got an interesting touch off the face, and the way it generates power just makes it feel a little different than a lot of other paddles. It took me a little while to get used to it, but eventually I did get there. I wanna thank the folks over at Cortec for sending this over to me to review. I really enjoyed playing with this paddle. I'm gonna play with it a little bit more and you know, once I get some overgrips on it and I'll, I'm sure I'll have a short follow-up for you on this paddle after I get some more reps in with it. So that's it for this week. Next week, I think, I don't know what I'm reviewing next week. It's either gonna be an action camera or some pickleballs. So <laughs> stay tuned, or maybe both, who knows? Maybe I'll combine it. No, I won't combine, the, combine that, but stick around and um, I will talk to you next time. Bye. Two more over wraps on this because I just like a, a thicker handle when I'm, I just ate a bug. <coughs> mm. Mm. Whoa. <coughs>